I often get the question, what is your daily routine as a Qigong master? Well, let me tell you, the Qigong master's daily routine is full of flow and flexibility, but it does have some structure. Structure is key. Now you think about it. If we look at a river, the structure is the banks of the river. The flow is the water inside. Now the structure, your routine is like those banks. You want to put some structure to your daily routine because it saves you energy. Because if you always have to craft and create everything all the time, it takes more energy. If you create a routine, then you can be in flow and flexibility because those banks are strong. So what is a routine? I always start off with the morning practice. Morning practice is a great way to set yourself up to bring more energy into the rest of the day. As it said in Qigong, start your day with a lightning flash of vitality. And that's what I try to do. So I start with breathing practices. I start with focus, clarity, visualization. I set intention about how I want the day to unfold as a morning practice. So I'll do my Qigong practice, build the energy. Then I set my intention of what I want to create for the day. I usually do that over a nice cup of tea, pu'er tea preferably, or any hot beverage. You know, part of a ritual is just to be able to embody and make yourself feel good. Starting your day off with the right alchemy, the right mixture of your elements. It might be a cup of coffee. It might be a practice. But what is the way you want to start your day? Then transitions, the transitions of the day. So we start, talked about the morning. The morning is the transition from being asleep to being awake from yin to yang. Now there's lots of transitions because then you go from home to work and then from work back home and from home to your family and family to sleep. So those transitions, those fluctuations are really important points. So in the evening, there's also another practice that I go through to just clear whatever stress I might've picked up, whatever energy that wasn't mine that I picked up from other people, or if I'm doing acupuncture or healing work, any energy that I picked up from patients, I clear that out so that I feel refreshed and in my own unique energetic space. I usually end the day with some, some meditation, some healing sounds, some clearing exercises, and some light stretches. Stretching helps to clear tension out of the muscles so that you sleep really well. Uh, and then throughout the day, there's all these little inflection points where we might feel ourselves getting triggered, agitated, stressed out. And then in my daily routines, I often have those be signals. Whenever I feel stress, I find my center. And instead of responding with tension, I take that as a sign to relax a little bit more, to find my center and to find my flow. So those little inflection points, use them as reminders to drop back into the principles that you are practicing. So instead of getting stressed out when you're in traffic or somebody said something you didn't like, instead of tightening your body, I use those as triggers to relax a little bit more, to soften, to come to my center, and then find the flow rhythm. We talked about the river, right? So the river, if we take that as a metaphor, it doesn't get hung up on the rocks. It doesn't get all stressed out at the top of the mountain about when it's gonna get to the ocean. It just flows. It winds and bends in the effortless way. And when there's that boulder, it goes around it. It goes over the top of it. So try to live a little bit more like that river and bring more flow into your days where there isn't routine. Create that structure and find that flow. Thanks so much.